for me, the whole thing about being vegetarian is to try to, to try to limit suffering. Uh, of course, everybody just being born, you know, you're going to splat a certain amount of insects against your windscreen. You will inadvertently step on a certain number of bugs and beetles and frogs and stuff. But whenever I can knowingly avoid animal or people suffering, I will do that. You see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try <clears throat> to not be as rude about my vegetarianism as I am with my atheism. And we'll see how that goes. I might not be able to pull it off, but I'll give it a, I'll give it a good shot. Most fish are carnivorous. And, and what they do with fish farming is that they'll go out in the ocean and they'll catch fish, bring them back, and feed them to the fish in the farms. All right, it takes five pounds of wild-caught fish to produce one pound of farmed fish. I was really tempted to skim over this part. Because the male chicks of egg-laying breeder hens are unable to lay eggs and are not bred to produce excessive flesh for the meat industry, they are killed. Every year, more than 100 million of these young birds are ground up alive or tossed into bags and suffocated. Chickens. At the slaughterhouse, their legs are snapped into shackles, their throats are cut, and they are immersed in scalding hot water to remove their feathers. Because they have no federal protection, birds are exempt from the Humane Methods of Slaughter Act. Most are still conscious when their throats are cut open, and many are literally scalded to death in the feather removal tanks after missing the throat cutter. By the way, the um, Humane Methods and Slaughter Act is a fucking joke. Pigs. As piglets, they are taken away from their mothers when they are less than a month old. Their tails are cut off. Some of their teeth are cut out and cut off and the males have their testicles ripped out of their scrotums, uh, all without pain relief. They spend their entire lives in overcrowded pens on a tiny slab of filthy concrete. In addition, 420,000 are crippled by the time they arrive at the slaughterhouse. Many are still fully conscious and they are immersed in scalding water uh, for their hair to be removed. Ducks and geese raised for foie gras endure the pain of having a pipe shoved down their throats three times a day so that two pounds of grain can be pumped into their stom stomachs to produce the disease. This is a desirable effect. That This is what they're trying to do. Uh, to disease the livers of these animals. To produce the fatty livers uh, that some diners consider a delicacy. I didn't even go into cows because it's just, especially when it comes to veal and... Um, and dairy cows, it's, oh, I, I, I can't deal with it, I, I, uh, it disturbs me too much. Um, if you are truly indifferent to this, to how these animals are treated, um, I, I wouldn't want to know you personally. Because you see, animals, they're not thinkers, they're feelers. <laughs> you know, they, they at, at that moment, they... That's their whole world to them. If they're in pain, that's everything to them. If they're happy, if they're content, you know, that's their whole world to them. And these animals are born into pain. And then they die. Some people say, well, if, if they weren't farm animals, they would have never been born in the first place. Look, guys, being born didn't do them any favors. They're just born and then they're in pain. And that's it. And besides, if that farm wasn't there, then the land would be covered with trees and there would be other animals living in the trees. So those animals don't get to exist because the farm is there. It's, it's a trade-off. And of course, the meat industry really doesn't advertise this stuff because they don't want you to think about this. It's not good for business for you to think about how your food arrives on the table. When you have your food delivered to you and it arrives on the plate, you don't want to think of the animals screaming in pain, and trust me, they scream. You do have an impact on this stuff. Because I'm going to tell you exactly what the, the average number of animals consumed by one person in a lifetime is. 20 pigs, 29 sheep, 5 cows, 780 chickens, 46 turkeys, 18 ducks and about 1,000 fish. That's, that's the estimation of what one Western person eats in a lifetime. At the, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some stats on, on just the 
the environmental impact of this loan. If you're an environmentalist, the single biggest thing you could do for the environment is not eat meat. And in, in a sense, it's not really ethical too, because putting grain into, into animals takes it away from people. It pushes the price of grain up. And, and that <laughs> brings me to ethanol. Who the fuck came up with that idea? I can't even speak. It, you're taking the food away from people who could eat it and putting it in your fucking car. How do you how do you fucking sleep at night? Oh well, I guess that wasn't so successful, my vegetarian rant. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. It's my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Mm -hmm.